Trump expanding his lead in the 2024 Republican primary, despite facing federal charges, among other legal problems. And while the former president remains popular among Republicans, just over one third of all registered voters view him positively. For more on these latest poll numbers, let's bring in NBC News national political correspondent Steve Kornacki. He's at the big board. Steve, break these numbers down for us. Yeah, a lot of interesting numbers as we start to look ahead to 2024, both in terms of that Republican primary situation and then the question of whoever emerges on the Republican side against Joe Biden, what dynamics would define that matchup. Let's start by taking a look at the president himself, Joe Biden. The bottom line number here when it comes to his job approval rating in our poll, 43 percent. This is pretty much where it has been for a while for Joe Biden. Last time we took a poll was back in April. Biden was also at 43 percent. There are some concerning numbers here. Any president seeking re-election at this point in his first term, you know, to be sitting there at 43 percent, that's not a great place to be. We also asked folks in this poll if they were concerned about Biden's physical and mental health. More than two thirds said it was a big or a moderate concern to them, 68 percent. So some trouble signs. There's some signs of political vulnerability for Joe Biden. But then you get to that question of, well, he's not running against a blank slate here. He'll end up running against somebody with a name. So who would that person be? And as you mentioned, this is what the Republican race looks like in our new poll here. National poll, Republican primary voters, Donald Trump with an outright majority in this poll, 51 percent. Ron DeSantis, it's now been a few weeks since he announced his candidacy. Obviously, of all of the Trump opponents here, the one who came into this race with the most hype, he is the only one who's in double digits. He's the only one above 20 percent outside of Trump. But still, that is a 29 point gap between Trump and DeSantis. And it really is notable when you go back to the very beginning of this year, our polling from this spring, other polling from back in January, December last year, in the wake of that 2022 midterm election, there were polls that had this Trump DeSantis race much closer. There were even some polls out there about six months ago that had DeSantis ahead of Trump. So things have changed on the Republican side in favor of Donald Trump. And there is as yet you know, no sign of, of DeSantis reversing that trend and getting right back into a single digit race with Donald Trump. In fact, we took it one step further in this poll and we asked folks, let's take all these other names out of it. Well, actually, I should show you, first of all, these are just the positive negative scores. It is notable. DeSantis remains popular. Trump remains. These are with Republican voters. Trump remains popular with Republican voters. Chris Christie, whose name you saw pop up there, getting 5% support from Republican voters. Uh, he's moved up enough where he could qualify for the debates potentially, but look, still very, very unpopular overall. Christie is with Republican voters. So is Mike Pence. But then we get to this bottom line question we asked Republicans where we said, forget about all the other names. If it's just Trump, if it's just DeSantis, if you had to choose between one of them, who would it be? And overwhelmingly, they're saying right now, Donald Trump. They say they like DeSantis. They say they like Trump. They say they strongly prefer at this point Trump to DeSantis to be their nominee. So if Donald Trump, and take a look here, you mentioned the positives and negatives. Now we're looking at general election voters. What would that set up for the general election? Well, Joe Biden, higher negatives than positives, under 40% positive, but DeSantis starting to get very well known outside the Republican party, high negatives, just 30% positive. Donald Trump, 56% negatives, just 34% positive. Nobody's popular on this list, but the least unpopular on this list, that's quite a distinction to be in an election, but the least unpopular is Joe Biden. And what does that translate into when we start to do trial heats here, general election voters here, who would you support if it were Biden versus Trump? Biden 49 in our poll, Trump 45. What if it were Biden versus Ron DeSantis? A little bit different. 47, 47. So you see all those weaknesses for Biden. You see the profound unpopularity of Donald Trump. You see a growing unpopularity with all voters of Ron DeSantis as well. And what you're looking at here, at least in our poll, there is a slight difference. DeSantis doing a little bit better against Biden than Trump is. That could make all the difference in the world when it comes to a close election. Just a difference of a couple points like that. And while Trump is behind Biden by four points in our poll, just bear in mind, the margin was four points in the popular vote in the 2020 presidential election. But in the Electoral College, 
All right. Trump still came within 44,000 votes of getting reelected in 2020, despite losing the national popular vote by a margin that looked like this. So the, the bottom line, I think Biden remains a very vulnerable incumbent. The Republican Party right now, for all the troubles Donald Trump has had in the first six months this year, legal troubles that Donald Trump has had, there's no sign of that grip of his on the Republican Party uh, breaking, at least right now.